<clears throat> Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be filming a video on the new L'Oreal Total Infallible or to Infallible Total Cover. This foundation launched in the UK a couple of weeks ago, so I've actually had this a couple of weeks now and I've been using it. Um, this one's in porcelain and I find it's actually really quite pale, but once you get your other products on top, it's fine. I might have a little look at Natural Rose and just see how I feel about going up a shade. Now this came out in the US first and there were a lot of reviews that kind of said it settles into your lines. People were saying yes it's full coverage but it doesn't wear for a long period of time. Now I've actually worn this and I've actually found it wore really well. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm applying it, I, I put it on the back of my hand and apply it with a brush as you'll see in the video. So I'm not actually dotting it on my face so it's not having time to kind of set. So I don't know if that's anything to do with it, it's the way I'm applying it. Um, I've tried it with two different primers and it works well with both. So this week they actually came out with this on the Superdrug site and it's the Infallible Total Cover Base Kit. Design your base in three steps. So it's a box set and it's what happens is if you put this in your trolley for $7.99, this naturally appears in your trolley for £7, which is really good value because I believe that these are around eight pounds each on their own and this is six on its own now the reason i left it in my trolley i just wanted to see what would happen if i put this in my trolley and that would appear and then if i removed the foundation because i already had it would this stay and it did so i actually just ordered this on its own the reason being i really wanted to try this sponge it's 5.99 and for one pound and a penny extra i was getting these other things and this is a 22 pound value for seven pounds so it's really really good um but I really like this primer and I do use it so I just thought well I'll get a backup of that and I really enjoy the makeup spray. Now I know it does tend to settle and you can get white splodges all over your face. I'm going to show you mine here. So you can see the white in the bottom. I've left it like this for the last couple of days just so I could show you. So I was glad to back up both of these things because I use them and like them and I wanted to get the sponge to try. So this is the box set and if you'd ordered it with the foundation they actually put your foundation inside so it's like a fourth piece. The idea is you prime, then you put your base on, then you spray it, and then you take the damp sponge, and I guess you just kind of blot it, just to kind of like diffuse everything together. Um, I'm guessing that's what it is. I mean, it also recommends application of this with that, but I like to use a brush because I like to really blend it in. So I'm still gonna use in the video a brush to apply the foundation itself on top of the primer. Then I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna use the damp sponge to just kind of blend all over and get that kind of seamless finish. And we'll see what the end result looks like. So if you wanna see how this all works, then please do keep on watching.
today's video anyway I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stop waffling <laughs> please do subscribe if you've enjoyed my channel thanks very much for watching as always hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing and I'll see you all in the next video bye